So check this out. In the 200,000 years modern humans have been on this planet, we've pretty much gotten the hang of how things work on Earth. For example, we know that islands don't just pop up overnight, and they definitely don't move. So, when they do, we're left scrambling for answers. Here are the most bizarre moving islands that had researchers stumped. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us on the bright side. Alright, imagine you're a pilot flying over the Pacific. This isn't your first rodeo, so you know the layout of the land, or uh, water, I guess. Plus, you've got your navigation equipment to help you out when in doubt. When you look down, you suddenly see an island where there should be open ocean. And this thing is big, at least 200 miles long. There's no mistaking it, it's a full-on island about the size of Jamaica, and it's magically appeared out of the blue. No, this isn't an excerpt from some fantastical movie or show. This is what an actual pilot witnessed on August 1st, 2012, about 500 miles off the coast of New Zealand. When the pilot informed the authorities about his finding, researchers decided to investigate, obviously. They first turned to scans taken by NASA's Terra satellite. What they discovered was that this thing not only popped up out of nowhere, but it was also heading landward. Now it was time to get a better look. Scientists needed to study this thing up close. When they approached the mysterious island, they were amazed to find it wasn't a solid piece of land at all. It was a giant mass of rocks floating on the surface of the water. And it really was humongous, about 300 miles long and 30 miles wide, a lot bigger than Jamaica, in fact. And this layer of floating rocks was about 2 feet thick. When the researchers shined spotlights on the unusual mass, it lit up a bright white color, just like the edge of an ice shelf. Floating glowing rocks, you say? Well, yes, I did. Are you sure we're not in some fantasy universe where the laws of physics don't apply? Well, once the scientists got some samples of the stuff, the mystery was finally solved. These bizarre floating stones were actually pumice, or light stones of volcanic origin. These things had floated up to the surface after the eruption of an underwater volcano. You see, when hot lava mixes with cold ocean water, gas bubbles get trapped inside, making the rock buoyant. And all these millions of separate pumice stones had risen up and formed the unusual country-sized raft. These sorts of pumice gatherings can stay afloat for an extremely long time. This long-term buoyancy is thanks to the itsy-bitsy pores in the rock. They're not like a sponge that absorbs water, but are so small that water simply presses on them and keeps the gas trapped inside. A pumice rock sinks only if the trapped gas diffuses out. With some more research, the scientists figured out that this mass would sink a bit at night and rise back to the surface in the day. Again, this sort of bobbing has to do with that trapped gas. Boy, I know the feeling. It cools down at night and contracts, becoming less buoyant. But in the sunlight, it expands again, sending the rocks back up to the surface. Surprisingly, there are numerous pumice rafts in the world's oceans. According to scientists, they even played an important role in the process of evolution. By drifting over large expanses of water, they would transport microbes, plants, and even animals to faraway destinations. Nowadays, they also make perfect homes for marine creatures. In fact, it's quite common to see around 80 different species occupying a pumice raft and, well, going with the flow. There have been several cases when over 200 representatives of one species would travel on a single raft. And some pumice gatherings were colonized by more than 10 billion barnacles. Some of these organisms would set up shop permanently in the raft, while others were just hitchhiking. If a pumice rock lands on a beach, a stray crab may even hitch a ride. Pumice islands are a pretty fascinating phenomenon. But just wait until you hear about the eye. <laughs>
This island is located not far from the northeastern corner of Argentina, in the Parana Delta. This thing is full of mystery. It's a perfectly circular island, and not only does it float, it also rotates. Dubbed the Eye, this place was discovered in 2016 by Sergio Nuspolerm, an Argentinian filmmaker who was looking for a location to shoot a movie about paranormal phenomenon in the area. Good timing, huh? You can imagine how impressed he was to spot a circular island floating and spinning in an open body of water about 400 feet in diameter. Satellite scans do show the island shifts to a new position pretty much every day, and that has been doing so for about 20 years. But the shape is just too perfect to have been formed by nature. So is it some sort of paranormal activity? Was it aliens that carved out the island for their own purpose, like some people believe? Well, there are more scientific explanations for this phenomenon. The fact that the circular mass of land floats probably comes down to trap methane bubbles in the water. As for the spinning, it's likely due to a current that flows alongside of the island. With years and years of constant spinning, that's how it got its perfectly circular form. It is a very rare occurrence simply because the conditions needed to create such a structure are so particular. Sure, the phenomenon in Argentina is uncommon, but it isn't unique. A vivid example is the Luapala River, which is located on the border between Zambia and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. This river is home to several floating and rotating islands. They don't have such a perfect shape as the eye does but they do indeed move and turn on an axis. Some of them even share the same pool. But not all floating islands were created by nature. For example, there are very famous man-made islands that constantly move around Lake Titicaca, located between Bolivia and Peru. These islands are homes for the Uros, a local tribe that weaves their floating villages from reeds. The tribe originally came up with the idea of living on the lake to avoid conflicts with the locals. But even nowadays, when there's no more threat from anything or anybody, the Uros still live on their floating islands and earn money by fishing and entertaining tourists. There's one more man-made island that's definitely worth mentioning. Its creation, however, is much more sinister. It's connected with the biggest problem we face today – pollution. The thing is that over the years, ocean currents have brought together tons of garbage dumped into the Pacific Ocean. Experts aren't quite sure the exact size of this garbage island, but some estimates put it at about 600,000 square miles. For your information, that's almost as big as Alaska. There's no mystery in the appearance of this island, but the question remains. Are we going to do anything about it? And how can we prevent these humongous garbage patches from appearing in the future? Well, smart minds are working on it, so look for an update in a future bright side. So, which of these bizarre islands impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.